And in between those, the five corners uh, have canopy niches, uh, and in the center, the statue of St. Patrick in the center niche, and I assume this is President Kennedy, uh, President uh, Johnson's party arriving. Walter, I can uh, see down the avenue uh, the scene that you see on uh, the screen, and I assume the same thing, a wedge of uh, police motorcycles with their lights on, moving slowly down uh, Fifth Avenue from Central Park, where the President's helicopter landed. They are about uh, three blocks away from the front door of St. Patrick's at the moment. the corner of uh, Fifth Avenue and 51st Street, there must now be at least 50 New York City policemen. The first uh, of the motorcycles have arrived at St. Patrick's. say a word while we have a uh, moment here of uh, the uh, co-celebrant of the Mass, uh, the Archbishop of uh, New York. Uh, we're, as, as we watch the President's car coming down Fifth Avenue, uh, Archbishop Terrence Cook uh, is 47. Uh, he is a native New Yorker. Uh, his parents came from County Galway. He had humble beginnings. His father was a chauffeur and then later a construction worker. Uh, he spent uh, nearly his whole career in the church here in New York. He was a secretary to the late Cardinal Spellman. But from comparative obscurity for this job he has now. And now here the President of the United States arriving. His arrival, uh, Walter, occasioned uh, the first uh, even mild uh, uh, outbreak of emotion in the crowd. There was applause from the crowd across the street, and there is applause around us now as President Johnson, surrounded by Secret Service men and by officers of the church, walks the few steps up to the doors of St. Patrick's and enters. <coughs> Really, the height of the whole amazing series of ironies uh, regarding these series of assassinations this nation has suffered through, that uh, even as the services were going on in St. Patrick's Cathedral, the announcement should come of the capture of uh, Roy Galt, uh, the accused uh, James Earl Ray, the real name, uh, the man accused of the uh, assassination of Martin Luther King last April 4th in Memphis. Uh, he was captured, as you probably heard a moment ago, you in the audience heard a moment ago, in London uh, with Canadian passports, two of them, one he picked up in Canada uh, some 20 days after the uh, King uh, death, and another in uh, Lisbon uh, under an, uh, another alias. He has had many uh, aliases, uh, James Earl Ray. He was carrying a loaded gun as he attempted to leave London uh, Airport for Brussels. He was picked up by immigration, British immigration authorities. He is being held in London under maximum security. The widow of uh, Martin Luther King, the slain civil rights leader, head of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference uh, was, of course, at St. Patrick's Cathedral uh, in the company of the man who has succeeded him in the leadership of that conference and now is directing the Poor People's March on Washington, Roy Abernathy, uh, who, Ralph Abernathy, who was, uh, was dressed in the denim uh, suit 
which is the uniform of his poor people's march. And now uh, the funeral procession uh, is moving away from St. Patrick's Cathedral uh, and...